Imagine this. There's a strange object orbiting our planet. It doesn't behave like any satellite meteor or asteroid we know. It dips dangerously close to Earth, then rockets out past the moon again and again on a path so bizarre that even after five years, scientists still can't explain it. What if I told you that some believe it might not even be human-made? Welcome to one of the most baffling mysteries in modern space. Observation, the case of A-10 BMLZ. This isn't just another piece of space junk. It might be evidence of something far more significant. And today we're diving deep into the science speculation and straight up strange behavior behind this object. But we'll also go beyond the science into history, personal experiences, and some uncanny connections you've never heard before. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you might just look up at the night sky with a different kind of wonder. In 2019, telescopes at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii caught sight of something unusual. An object labeled A10BMLZ was drifting through an elongated looping path around Earth. At first, it looked like another piece of orbital debris, but then scientists noticed it didn't behave like one. It had a retrograde orbit, meaning it was moving in the opposite direction of Earth's rotation. That's very rare. Most satellites and debris share Earth's general rotation to conserve fuel. Going against the spin is wildly inefficient and often unnecessary, unless there's a very specific reason. Then there's its mass astronomers. Estimate it spans several meters wide, but weighs less than a kilogram. That gives it an extremely high area to mass ratio, which makes it especially susceptible to being moved by sunlight, a phenomenon known as solar radiation pressure that earned it a spot in a peculiar category known as ETB bows, empty trash bag objects, yes. That's the real scientific nickname. These are flimsy, lightweight materials floating in space, such as insulation foil or fragments from old missions. But here's the twist. A10 BMLZ behaves too oddly for that simple classification. If you followed Space News in 2017, you'll remember Oumuamua, the cigar-shaped object that zipped through our solar system at high speed unlike anything seen before it accelerated without a visible source, didn't release gas like a comet, and had a strange shape and tumbling motion. Dr. Avi Loeb, astrophysicist at Harvard, made headlines when he proposed that Oumuamua could be an alien light sail, a kind of interstellar probe propelled by sunlight. Loeb also took interest in A10 BMLZ, like Oumuamua, it experiences non-gravitational acceleration, and while it orbits Earth instead of passing through the solar system, the mechanics are curiously similar. What if A10BMLZ isn't just space junk? What if it's a fragment from something bigger? A long-lost probe, a piece of alien technology that got caught in Earth's gravity. Let's break down the problems with the space junk theory. First, its orbit isn't just long and looping. It's chaotic. It swings from just 600 kilometers above Earth's surface to over 500,000 kilometers away, well past the moon. And because it's so light, solar radiation easily changes its path. Second, its retrograde motion makes it unlikely to be from any known launch. It would have taken tremendous fuel to send something into that orbit. So why would anyone do that? And from what launch third, despite predictions that it would re-enter Earth's atmosphere years ago, a10 BMLZ is still out there, still orbiting, still defying expectations. That makes scientists wonder if we're seeing the effects of a technology we don't yet understand. Remember the story of the Viking sunstones? These were crystals believed to help Norse sailors navigate cloudy seas long before the magnetic compass. For centuries, historians doubted their existence until one was found aboard a 16th century shipwreck. Sometimes the new evidence redefines what we thought was impossible. Could the same be true for objects like A10 and BMLZ? Consider this. What if we discovered that Earth's orbit contains relics from ancient spacefaring civilizations? The way archaeologists find tools buried beneath centuries of soil. It's not just a science fiction fantasy. In the real world, we found pieces of long-lost satellites decades after they disappeared. 
Why not a million-year-old fragment from someone else's mission? This part hits home. Back in 21, I interviewed a retired aerospace engineer who worked during the Apollo era. He told me off the record about an object they tracked in the 1970s that wasn't ours and didn't respond to radio calls. Was it a malfunctioning probe? An unknown satellite or something else? The point is, we've been seeing strange things in orbit for a long time, but most of them are brushed aside or classified. A-10 BMLZ is just the latest in a long line of mysteries. The difference now, more people are paying attention. Whether A-10 BMLZ is space trash or alien tech, it challenges us to think bigger. It reminds us that our orbit is not as well understood as we like to think, and that sometimes the line between natural and artificial is blurrier than we imagine. The lesson, stay curious, keep asking questions. Don't accept easy answers when the universe offers us hard, beautiful mysteries.